Hello. Today I just wanted to hop on here just to talk to you about a system that we use at the uh, Pet Sitter Soli Hole. It's called our WAG system and I just want to explain to you uh, why we've brought it in and what it means to you and how it benefits you and your pet. Um, before I get on to the WAG system, I just want to um, let you know about something exciting that we've got coming up in April. It's our um, dog adventures. So this is basically where we take four dogs, four wave dogs, out into the countryside, um, into the woods, up in the hills, um, and we just go and have a good quality amount of time outside, getting some fresh air, getting lots of exercise. You know, this is sort of like a, a four or five mile walk, um, as opposed to just sort of walking around the local park. Um, let's say it's for four dogs, um, and we do a different walk each week. Um, and we pick, come pick up your dog, take them out, probably out for about, I don't know, two hours, have a tree, wash them down, um, and then drop them off, hopefully exhausted. So that is launching in April. Um, there is a link below, and I will, um, so you can sort of sign up to hear about it. As soon as the booking's open, you can sign up um, to get your name down um, so that your, your dog can come and join us with that. So I will put all the information down below. Um, so as soon as bookings open, we will email you and let you know about that. So anyway, back to WAX and what that is about. So we've devised this system to ensure that every single visit that we do to your pet, be it a cat feed, um, a dog walk, or even going on the, the new adventure walks, we have the same high standards um, and systems in place. So every visit has the same um, values that we have. Um, and it's called WAGS, which simply stands for um, Welcome, Assess, Goals, Games and Security. So the first thing that we do whenever we go anywhere and you, the owner, aren't there, is we will come in and we will welcome the pet, um, you know, say hello, make a fuss, and this is our opportunity to give them that sort of once um, look over, check that they are healthy, there's nothing untoward that's happened since we last saw them, um, and check if there's, you know, we're looking after four animals, check that there are four animals there. Um, so this is our sort of welcome um, sort of period. We then have our assess stage, and this is not only like assessing the pets, but it's assessing your house as well if you're not there. Um, so we can do um, check that the house is as it should be. You know, there's nothing has happened security-wise. Um, there's no, no leaking taps, no um, forced entries or anything like that. Anything that could happen. You know, it could even be that the wheelie bins haven't been put in when they should have been put in. Things like that. That's what we assess. Assess um, how well like the animals have been since we last saw them. Have they been fed? Have litter trays been used? Um, so that's our assess stage. The next stage is our goal stage. So this is for us to ensure that we stick to the same high standards and values that we have. Um, so we set ourselves these goals. And if you're if we're coming to you for um, a pet visit and you've chosen whether it be the, the bronze, silver or the gold care package, um, we have got the goals uh, for each particular package. So it's ensuring that uh, every service is um, standardised and everybody knows exactly what they're doing. So that's our, our goals stage. We then have our games stage. Um, so this is, you know, we've if we've come for a cat feed, we've obviously we've we've fed the cat, we've um, done the litter tray, we've done everything that we needed to do because we've listed it down in our goals, um, and then we'll have some games, um, be it um, you know playing um, throw and catch whatever with a, a ping pong ball for cats, um, or scented games for dogs. So just sort of like that's this is our opportunity now to just sort of like ensure that the cats are having loads of attention. Um, if they're not game players, then that's fine. We'll just do 
um, something else, but it's there that time that we are completely focused on your your pet and your animal. Um, and then our last stage is security. So if you are not around, we've obviously got keys to your house and we have let ourselves in and now we need to let ourselves out again. So we need to ensure that um, you know everything is as it should be. If we are uh, closing curtains, opening curtains, doing lights, doing weedy bins, we should ensure that that has been done so that the property looks lived in whilst you're not there. Uh, we ensure that you no know, cats have been locked in a room or a cupboard. I know what my cats are like. Um, the minute you open a cupboard, wardrobes in particularly, they sneak in there. So it's just to ensure that we've got all the pets, your house is secure, and then before we lock any doors, we have a procedure so that we do not lock a key, um, leave a key inside, and we've closed the front door and then have not got a key. But we've got procedures for that. So that's our security procedure. So hopefully with this WAG system, it ensures to you that we have um, a certain procedure that we follow and you know exactly what is gonna happen at every single visit that we do. So you know that how your pet is gonna be cared for um, and it just ensures consistency and that high level of care that we um, are here to, to, to give to your pet. So um, I will put some notes down below so you can sort of um, see the, the system and what happens in every single uh, stage of it. Um, but hopefully that will help you um, in sort of understandings of what, what we do when we are at your house um, or with your pet um, wherever. So anyway, thank you very much for listening.